Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Hourglass. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. Peace to you and those you love. All right, so let's get it on. Let's see how this person feels about you. What the hell do they want from you? Oh, my God, stop touching me. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what I heard was trust. Some of you, this person may want you to trust them. This is your true love. The true love energy has been frequently showing up yesterday and today. I was playing around. I did a few private readings here at my home. And the true love has been coming up really strong. So some of you may be falling in love with life, falling in love with yourself again. For others of you, this person wants you to trust them because they are your true love or you're trusting that this is a true love situation. Anyway, let's see what really goes on. So my cards are feeling very clear. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so I have a few channel messages. So I am going to be talking about those when the, uh, the card combination comes up. You guys know how I do it. So we do have Neptune in retrograde. So a lot of the subconscious dreams or buried fantasies are going to be coming up. A lot of fears, a lot of hopes are going to be coming up at this time for us to really discern between fantasies and real life. For a lot of us, that's extremely difficult to do. But we're being given the opportunities until September because this is going to last until September. We're going to be given the opportunities to clear out some type of confusion, uh, misinterpretation, misunderstandings, any type of self-deception is going to be coming right back up to the surface for us to deal with. This may have, this may need to happen over and over again for you to get it, but it's all good. All right. It's all good. Mm, there's a need to transmute, transmute your stubbornness to tenaciousness. Hmm. So we're going to reset, we're realigning, we're having a renewal here, bringing up a lot of karmic cycles for us to gain personal power and personal growth. We also have uh, Aries and Mars, so a, a lot of uh, motivational energy or boost is going to be um, pushing us or giving us the energy to drive forward towards goals as well. We do have this lunar eclipse coming up as well. So be aware. It's a lot of turbulent energy, you guys. So, you know, the planetary energy does have an effect on the human body as well, the human mind overall. So keep that in mind, you guys. Keep that in mind. All right, let's see. What does this person want from you? What does this person want from you? What does this person want from my viewer? They want to flirt. Listen, this flirting card is like living on my uh, platform this week. Okay? All right. Living on my platform. So the song that I'm hearing was coming through for me right now is by Lewis. This person may, you may know a Lewis, but this person, this artist, sorry, Lewis, someone you loved. So the part that's ringing through for me right now, this is just a bookmark, you guys. <laughs> So, uh, what's coming through for me right now is the one lyric that says, um, I guess I got, I guess I kind of like the way you numb the, all the pain. So this person may be someone that you flirted with online, getting to know each other. So this person wants to get to know you in a more playful, fun way. I feel like, uh, you guys did in a way, I feel like for this person, it's a little bit more serious for you. Maybe you don't know, but even if it was just like playful flirting, you guys may have had conversations that reveal a little bit of this person. And you may have got a little deeper than anyone else, but in this flirting energy, it may not felt that way to you, but for them, yes. This person may be someone that was always pushed into being serious or committed. And with you, it was just like a lot of playfulness, a lot of smiling, or you made this person smile a lot and they want that. They want to flirt again. They want to get to know you. For some of you, you haven't spoken to this person in a while and they know that and it, they feel like they have to get to know you again. They have to reintroduce themselves to you or, and vice versa because something happened through this flirting. The bond deepened, all right? I know they like to say you can't build a, uh, a connection through text messages, but think about it. How many long-term, long-distance relationships build off of texting, telephone calling, and emails? 
All right. So don't believe everything you see, man. I'm not trying to give you, you know, hope or anything, but you know, I'm talking about <laughs> hope. Right. So we have a lot of forgiving and learning. So you may have brought a little bit of healing energy to this person's life through that playful, fun energy. You opened up a part of them that they have not felt secure or safe enough to do that with other people. So there wants trust. This person wants trust. Trust me. <laughs> they want they want you to forgive. And release whatever happened in the past because this person is doing that and I feel like right now especially with the planetary energy I hope I'm not bumping my shit it's like they want to come in very flirtatious something about pain and loss uh, kind of got in the way here and this person forgot what it feels like to be courageous so you know they may have lost the connection here with you or whatever was going on between the both of you uh they may have decided to like stop talking or communicate for a while and you may have took that very personal and blocked this person but for some of you you may have blocked yourself from communicating with this person as well maybe you got a little bit anxious or you got tired impatient of waiting for them to initiate and block yourself from trying to push anything else with them but this person is ready now to start again or for some of you to introduce themselves all right they feel some sort of deep bond with you whether you know it or not you may have helped this person to heal something or an experience or a, a, an an energy or emotion that they were living in for so long that stopped them from having the courage to that stopped them from feeling courageous dang that took a while <laughs> so you know they may be out here you know uh, having admiration from other people or they may have someone else that they're talking to dating to whatever the situation is but they're it's they're paying attention to you it's like those things don't even matter to them it's like you bring this fun energy instead of like this emotional seriousness and that kind of like open them up to their emotions so yeah something like that this person may be learning uh and forgiving themselves for a lot of experiences that they thought was love and they kind of like stained or jaded this person so if you guys fell apart or there's no communication they they went through some learning lessons possibly karma and they're ready to flirt they're ready to introduce for some of you reintroduce themselves they're ready to create beautiful moments with you they're ready to be in your essence let's talk about it some more what is the connecting card between flirting and getting to know each other Reparent yourself. Whoa. All right. So hmm. manifestation. Listen. <laughs> All right. So this person may be trying to call you in or attract you or they feel like they have manifested you into their life. Whatever they've been through or, you know, this flirting con uh, bond that you guys had, the energy that you had between each other, it caused a ripple effect into this person and they had to maybe you're maybe the person who you are caused this person to check themselves you know if you fell out if the communication break down that situation caused this person to check themselves where they had to heal and release a lot of things that was blocking their courageous boldness all right so now they may be feeling that burst of motivational energy with aries and mars to want to come in and manifest or they're trying to manifest you in visualizing um talking to you or flirting with you they could be holding on to energy of that as well you know reading old text messages looking at pictures stuff like that is helping this person to manifest they are right now centering themselves they could have had issues with their heart their sacral and their root chakra and those things needed to be cleared out so this person could feel their own power their own uh, courage you may have lectured them or taught them something to that effect as well where they're having this heart awakening or a heart shift hey i feel like they may have been in a bubble of darkness or a bubble for a very long time and now they're choosing 
to heal their core wounds or they're choosing to embrace who they truly are and it's done because of you getting to know you again this person may be coming back for some of you this is someone that's coming back for some of you this is someone that's going through a healing process and it's like in the flirting stage they want to like manifest more but something about healing the past is on this person's mind so they could be present when it's getting to know you so they want to like release and heal any type of experience that may have jaded uh their outlook on relationships or connections so they could be present so they could feel or embrace the moments deeper whoa okay cool <laughs> so you guys may talk a lot or you might talk about spiritual stuff you guys may have this butterfly talk where you talk about uh, things more in depth or the conversations you guys have is totally different from anyone that they know so you may be someone that's of manifestation you may be a powerful creator or a powerful manifester this person may be likewise or they're training themselves with law of attraction hey so they're sending vibrations out there's an echo or a ripple effect here with the both of you page of pentacles hmm so with the page of pentacles this person could be standing on solid ground in the past this person could have been very lazy or very unwilling to do or initiate or help but i'm seeing now and again that happens from bad experience people taking up advantage abusing your kindness for weakness so someone here may have had to go through uh the healing and releasing of those things so they could incorporate or attract more love in their life with the page of uh pentacles it's like building respect or this person is wanting to build respect or honor they may be coming more em uh emotionally matured or they're coming more emotion they're coming more uh mature in their world in their reality interesting what does this person want? Oh my God. They want to manifest things with you. They want to manifest this bond to be deeper. We have the chariot. So they are willing and able. This person may be very forceful or they have this, for, again, a very powerful manifestor here. Wow. So they're on their way with that chariot. It could be a cancer energy or they have cancer uh, in their moon or Venus. Yeah, they may have had a chip on their shoulders. And again, you bringing in this playful, flirtatious energy or that energy between the both of you may have lightened this person up. But now they want to come in very flirtatious. I want to flirt with you. What you talking? All right. So I didn't know I have any reversals in this deck, but hey, whatever. We have the King of Swords in reverse. So this person may be uh, rationalizing something. Hey. They may be overthinking and this could be paralyzing them from really um, taking a bold move here. But I definitely feel like they are uh, craving flirt, uh, to flirt with you, to be playful with you. This person wants success. They may even want to travel with you with a chariot. They may drive like an SUV or some type of big van. Maybe they have a camper. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so... Yeah, I feel like they may have been used before and this is something that they have to forgive them, forgive and learn the lesson from that to be in the present moment. But it's something kind of like wonky here with the King of Swords in reverse. You know, their um, obsessive thinking may be causing a lack of direction here uh, of how they want to proceed, you know, with the Page of Pentacles. They may want to offer a small token of appreciation. They may want to offer conversation. Or they may want to tell you thank you uh, for being who you are, for helping them repairing themselves or rewire some type of uh, mind uh, thought process. Hey, but with this wonky King of Swords, this person could, you know, very much be a manipulator. You know, someone that manifests, but they manifest kind of like wicked shit. So they may also be coming to the awareness that they need to forgive and learn from that because they may have manifested a lot of abusive or toxic situations uh, in the past or with you. This person could be very judgmental or they judge themselves really harshly. 
could be an absent father that was involved or because I'm an absentee parent, an absent parent, uh, it kind of like uh, cause this person to be this way, not using that as an excuse, but you know, it kind of like molded this person to be kind of like, uh, a little cynical or controlling here, or a little bit cold with this wonky, uh, king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. King of swords could be an Aquarius with Capricorn energy. So, yeah, they digress or they pull back. I hope I use the right term. They pull back when they feel like uh, they're going to fall into a trap. We have the six of swords and the four of wands. I want to come home. So they may want to come home to this uh, connection again, this bond, because I keep seeing the bond deepens. It's like those two words are showing to me. So it's like the bond deepens or the saga continues type of shit. So it's like wanting to return home. We have the four of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, more elements so this person is very logical or it's like on their mind a lot could be obsessive thinking here but it's like they want to what they want from you is they want to move away from anything that was causing a disaster they want to move away from the past maybe you guys had a kind of abusive relationship or you felt abused or taken for granted they want to move away from that they want to now cultivate unity with the four of wands a lot of people like to um associate the wands here 1111 as a twin flame portal if that's what you into yeah but what i'm seeing here being that we have manifestation as the overall energy we have here coming into oneself this is the foundation of this person through forgiving and learning they're coming into their own self here with the reparenting card 1111 this person could be seeing that number sequence as well and it's talking about manifestation so whatever they put their thoughts or visualize it's going to manifest so if they're thinking about you know wonky or obsessive thinking has them feeling cold and weak and you know all them sorts of low energy is going to manifest hey all right, and manifest really rapidly with the chariot. So they may want to move away. They may be understanding how powerful their thoughts are. They, it, it's like they're learning that their thoughts uh, is kind of like guiding their actions. So they may try to reparent or rewire the way how they think changing their train of thought is like they're training their brain to think otherwise. So they may be wanting what they want from you is to move away from conflict. They want you to not have resentments and they want to move forward to a new type of um, level here with the six of swords energy. So this person with the chariot and the six of swords may be on their rite of passage. This person may be on a journey and you being in their life, they feel like they manifested you. They manifested you to help them deepen a bond, not only with themselves, but with you. So this person may be very moody. Yeah. Obsessive thinking has this person trapped. They may also be thinking that you are reserving yourself from them. You're holding back yourself from this connection and they don't understand why they want. They're obsessively thinking about why you're not coming forward, why you have truth to move away. And again, they want you to release and heal the past. They want you to return. And, it, and I feel like it's like return home now or return suddenly. With the Eight of Swords, this person could be, again, obsessive thinking, telling themselves a lot of negative thoughts or stories. They may also catch themselves doing it and try to recalibrate or try to redirect their thoughts because they know they are a powerful manifester. They know they manifested someone like you in their life and they know some type of role that you play here. You know, a lot of the collectives are waking up, you know, they're getting very holistic. They're getting very aware of uh, toxic um, energies within themselves and outside. So I feel like this person is in that, that uh, collective right here. They want you to push. They want you to push forward. Yeah, they're, this obsessive thinking or they may be feeling like their circumstances is having them trapped right now or they feel like this the circumstances between the both of you have you trapped and um 
isolated. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person could get very loud. Oh, my God. Yeah, I feel like there's a brutal truth that they want to tell you or they feel like you have the, the power to, like, um, hurt them with your truth or your words. We have the hermit. could be a Virgo energy or, you know, your words hurt this person very deeply. It cuts them very deeply and they often... Uh, obsessively think about the things that you guys communicated, the things that you guys said. I want to see what the hell is this chariot and the home card. Oh, uh, the four of wands. Yeah. They want to have unity. Yep. Ace of cups. <laughs> this person wants to come home. I want to come home. It's been too long. Baby, I'm done. I want to come home. You just too far. I'm just too far from where you are. I want to come home. It's going to be all right. I want to come home. We have the queen of cups energy with the hermit. So I feel like they're kind of like bummed out. Or they feel like they're going to explode. I feel like at times this person could tr throw tantra tantrums. And I feel like they throw tantrums when you guys are not in that flirtatious energy, that playful energy. Where whatever happened, they may have feel like I style because I felt it with the wonky king of swords, you know, cold, cold and um, isolated. And here comes the hermit with the same type of imagery. So it's like this person being left out in the cold. For some reason, you may have turned your back having to move on from this person or move on from their uh, toxic behavior could be very abusive in some ways. It doesn't have to be extreme for some of you. It is. This person was very abusive, could be with their words or abusive in a way where they held back a lot of reassurance. But I see now, hey, that this person may be stepping into their Queen of Cups or they're hoping that you step into this Queen of Cups energy and offer a new emotional beginning or you offer some type of reassurance that... Um, that they miss you because the queen of cups could talk about, I miss you and I'm thinking about you daily. So the both of you may be thinking about each other very daily or, you know, really missing each other. You could pick up on each other intuitive needs and they feel very drawn to you. Again, they felt like they manifested someone like you in their life. Gabe, what is that? G's, Gabe's, Gabe. Yeah. So with the hermit card, they had to really self uh, evaluate what the fuck was going on with them. I feel like they had some type of guidance or guidance came from within this person. They really needed to repair in their attitude or they really need to recalibrate. They needed to do this. And you were the person to possibly set them fucking straight. So, you know, maybe some time has passed. And now they want to return or. You know, this could be a fairly new person and they themselves was going through some episodes when you came into their life. But at the time that you came into their life, they may have manifested someone of your caliber, meaning they needed someone that was uh, very lighthearted, that was fun, uh, possibly going with the flow, someone that was not too hard or trying to dictate their, their emotions. Something about you happen to walk into their life when they needed a friend or they needed someone that um, they could let their guard with, that they could feel safe at home with the four of wands, that they had this safety of unity, of working together in harmony with that four of wands energy. There's a lot of love. They want this new beginning here emotionally. So their cups... Uh, they want to offer you a cup or they want you to offer the cup again. Something about a baby girl. So baby girls has been on my mind frequently. So some of you may have spirit babies with this person. And this is what's helping uh, reconnect or connect you guys together. Yes, spirit babies is very possible where this person or you may have already fantasized or daydream about pregnancy together. But it could have been a memory or a vision from a past life. A lot of these people that we connect with sometimes are from the past lives that we have to carry out a contract with. That is very possible as well. Don't wait for your uh, local scientific whatever to tell you. Deep inside, we know. We know. All right? So we have faithful. The queen of 
cups could be a very faithful energy as well. This is someone that's very intuitively uh, connected to the people that she loves. She could be a mother, a mothering, nurturing energy. This is true blue. So this person may know that you're very dedicated and loyal to um, them or to this connection or just you in general. That's you. That's how you are. That's your mate. And again, they may have manifested a person like you. They may have wished and hoped and prayed or visualize a person of that caliber and boom, there you were. A live representation of it. What? So it kind of like reflected to this wonky king of swords energy that they have some really uh, healing to do, you know? And, you know, they may have not understood that coming with this dream or this wish that they had to up their, their level of game as well. They had to upgrade themselves to uh, be able to accept this uh, love. Hey? For some of you, you may have felt like this was unrequited because you took it very personal. All right. This person's misfits. You took it very personal. Uh, maybe you should. Maybe you shouldn't. But it is what it is. This person feels like you're keeping yourself away from them and they get angry. They want to confront you. They may even want to argue, get hasty with you, but they want changes. The Knight of Swords could talk about big changes, harsh possibly as well, but they want big changes. Hey, what do they want from you? They may want you to come out from your hermit mode, come out from your solitude and offer your nurturing energy, your intuitive guidance. All right, let's see. What did this person want from my viewer? What did this person want? They want you to be dedicated. <laughs> they want you to trust them. I can promise you that I'll willingly be your protector, your advisor, your counselor, your friend, your family, four of ones, your everything. I'll always be here for you to listen, to hold your hand, and always do my best to make you happy and make you feel loved pray with you, dream with you, build with you. I promise you. So they miss the way how you showed up in their life. You were possibly this person's friend. You, they could feel like you're their angel or your, their guardian angel and they miss talking to you. They miss fun, having fun times with you, flirting with you, smiling with you or making you smile. Ace of cups with the four of wands. They prayed for you. They manifested you. They, are, they asked the most high divine, whether it was out of, um, you know, sometimes in the base chakra, in the ancestral uh, seat, our ancestors that lives in our DNA hears our cries, our hurts. And believe it or not, the most high divine and our ancestors is really close along with your uh, guardian angels or angels. So they all work together to help you when you're in a desperate need or when you're in a jam or when you feel alone. They help you manifest things that you unknowingly or subconsciously call out for. And I feel like this is what happened. But the time when you came in, I don't know, this may have been somebody else in the picture or, you know, they just couldn't differentiate or they couldn't tell you apart from the rest in that type of way until, you know, things may have fell apart or uh, their shadows were reflected back to them. So it's like something like Beauty and the Beast when um, he hurt Belle really bad in one of those episodes. I, I'm talking about Once Upon a Time when uh, Rumpelstiltskin kind of lied to Belle a lot and that really hurt her and hurting her kind of reflect to him that he really had some cleaning up to do. You know, and this wonky king of swords could be someone of that caliber, someone that was very like um, hasty or cold and by hurting you or uh, whatever happened to him, this person, their shadow was reflected to them and they had some healing to do. They went into an introspective state. They went in, they drew, they went in, they could have ghosted you as well because they knew that they hurt you and coming back the way how they were in this wonky king of swords would have hurt you more. It would have screwed up their friend, this advisor, this counselor, this wise energy that you bring, right? So it says, trust what you see. So some of you are definitely getting a lot of clarity. Some of you are seeing the light, hey, or this person is seeing the light. There's a lot of acceptance here. So with the 11-11, with the four of wands, this person has been activated. This person has accepted the activation code. They have seen 11-11 
uh, attached to a manifestation quote that is helping this person to know who they are. I believe in us. What? They're ready to be open with the Ace of Cups. They're ready to reach out or they're, they're, will, they're ready for you to reach out so they could uh, seize the opportunity, the King of the Knight of Swords, to say their truth. Uh, can we start over? A clean slate. The silence is killing me. This person is very lonely without you. But they have been doing some work. This person feels like you're their life partner. You bring a lot of joy. You bring a lot of, you're like a mentor. Where are you? Where are you? They want to know where are you, viewer? Where are you with this love that I'm craving for? <laughs> so this purse, I just heard that someone has a lot of buried desires here. Hey? And they can't wait to show you because they know you're going to enjoy it. And they know that they will enjoy it as well. <laughs> y'all killing me, y'all, hey? So they're suffering. And they kind of feel hopeless as well. And again, this could be because of obsessive thoughts that they're thinking, hey? So they want to have some fun, hey? We have turtle time. Uh, this person wants you to know that they're afraid that, that you wouldn't be satisfied with who they truly are. Like I said, they're like this wonky king of swords energy. And it's because they have some things that they have to heal. Maybe they were violated at a young age. They were taken for granted in previous relationships. They may ever only know conditioned love. So they keep you at arm's length, hey, because they are definitely afraid that you would not approve of who they think they are right now we have turtle time they want to take you dancing move that beautiful tushy they want to break open a wine hey they want to get you loose um they want to be loose with you getting to know each other they want to reintroduce or for some of you introduce yourself for some of you this person is learning who they truly are and they're ready to meet their life partner Wow, and they're trusting what they see. They trust who you are. They trust what you have shown them. You may be a direct link or you may be someone that links them to their higher self. You take my breath away. I love you. Fiery passion. Feel alive. Love me without fear. So this person, it's almost like a trigger, a domino effect. It's like they have this love or this passion for you, right? Because you have the ability to show them that they could be more and they want to be more. But again, you came in very playful. So it disarmed them from others that was trying to dictate how they should feel or how they should feel or how they should be. And this is why we had this wonky king of swords energy, cold, abusive, toxic, loud, demeanoring person. So you may have disarmed them or give this person warmth. You make them feel alive and they want you to come forward in this queen of cups energy with this ace of cups out of the cold and love them fearlessly without fear love me without fear what is this three of wands so they're waiting what is hell does this card come from so three of wands they're waiting this could be long distance so, so they're waiting they're waiting they're waiting they're waiting but in the meantime between time they have uh gone into introspective they have gone within they may have ghosted you because they didn't know how to appropriately um, communicate what was happening. So they may have just withdrawn and ghosted because, you know, if they had to admit what was going on, it may have caused a little bit, a lot more pain and they didn't want to hurt you anymore. I feel like this is a person that does not want to hurt you. So they may have deflected the hurt that they have inside on you. Yeah, you have seen under my hard shell experience what few ever have i'm telling you you got to them you got real under their skin and they they hated it <laughs> they hated it they rationalized with it but after this silence came it gave them a chance to reflect you may have gave them space to think about what the fuck they did so you may have put them in the doghouse you know this feels um fairly fresh but it could be something that was long term and this is another level that's open in here with the four of wands the four of wands for me is the light gate this is the portal here you know and this person is going through another portal 
manifestation. We see that with the cosmic egg. They're going through another portal or they're unlocking another level within you guys' connection. The bond deepens. Where are you? I want your attention. I'm worried. I'm very concerned on how you are healing. Be your own sugar daddy. So you may be someone that's very independent. You may have been someone that never asked them for anything. And they may have been accustomed to relationships or people in their life that was trying to dictate them on who they should be, how they should feel, what they should be doing. And you never did that. You were your own sugar daddy. So because of your own independency, you open the lines of this person standing in that power. Fantasy dominates reality. So this may be someone that was uh, a karmic or this is a karmic situation. For some of you, this person has borderline personality. We see that with the wonky uh, king of swords. Some of you... This person or you was brought into this person's life to address a lot of personal karma. It could be vice versa as well. You guys were set in each other's path to make amends and to address past karma. We see that with forgiving and learning. Some spell work. So this person may be involved in dark magic. Uh, these people, somebody that they were connected to or it's in their family. We see the family home card here. There's some dark magic or there's some dark energy that's fighting against this situation for some of you. This could be this person's own selfish uh, energy with the wonky king of swords. They could be under um, illusions or lies. And that for me is another sign of dark magic when someone is under a lot of lies. They've been living in a world of lies. Someone or a group of people around them has been orchestrating this illusion for this person to stay there. They may be finding out some situations in their family that involve karma and dark magic. And they may be the one that it stopped on. It happens. It skips one generation and ends up on another. So you coming into this person's life, you shine a light. You brought awareness to this person. Even if it was just very flirtatious, something about you, the person that you are, the caliber, maybe you have some type of status or your quality as an individual is helping this person to build themselves. Because we have here, you may be this person's protector, their advisor, their counselor, their friend, their family. You are this person's everything and they're wishing to be that for you. They may be even be working on themselves, working on their selfishness, their evil, their personal, their, border, their borderline personality, their moodiness, all right? Because you are the first to see under their hard shell. You are the first that experienced what few ever had. So if this is a person that was domestically abusing you, there was domestic violence, this is not the same thing. Uh, in that case, you uh, may have got away or you may have st stood up to this person and now it's reflecting back to them that they have issues, they have problems, that they need to seek professional help. So you may have freed yourself from a situation like that, but for right now, what I'm picking up is not, it's not that um, extreme, all right? Uh, like I said, people like to associate the twin flame dynamic with the 11, 11, the four of wands card. Now, if this is a twin flame dynamic or soul ascension, you, this is exactly what you were put in this person's life to do. This person was in your life to help you reparent yourself as well, to help you become that powerful manifest manifestation or manifester when it comes to things that is aligned and in agreement with your uh foundation of stability and security here with the ace of cups and the four of wands i feel like this person wants to have a baby girl or they want to have a baby a home they see that they have some type of insight and they're trusting what their guides may have shown them about you because we have the hermit and we have trust what you see we have the hermit looking into solomon's star uh, and you know solomon was one of the wisest men on the earth at that time so you know they're tapping into uh, their higher self and they're trusting what their guides has shown them about this situation, about you. But it comes with 
um, a price here where they have to break some type of karma, address the past, possibly having to do with dark magic or spells that their family may have been into, they may have been into. It could be a way of life with their uh, wonky king of swords energy. Doesn't have to be, um, yeah, maturity. This is the guide that's over this person. So what they want from you is to trust them. It's to trust that they're becoming more mature. We saw that with the page of pentacles. Coming more responsible. Standing on solid ground. All right? Something spiritual is happening with this person. And you were the catalyst of it. And they want to know where you're at. They want to know where you are at in your journey. Because I feel like this person feels like they need to be in your life as well. So take it how it resonates. I know it was kind of like, a little bit deeper than what you may have expected. But if you did enjoy this reading, go on, big up yourself in the comment box below. Uh, again, this person does feel like you're their mentor. You're the love of their life. You are their life partner. So what they want from you, they want you to trust them. They want you to open up yourself. They want you to be in this queen of cups energy where you're coming back more. Uh, maybe in the past, you was very nourishing to this person. Even when they showed you that they were not, they were not deserving all right so yeah this person may st suffer with personality borderline personality disorder as well so that may be something that they're learning about themselves this may have been passed down from generation to generation all right so yeah i'll see you guys in another video oh and again thank you guys for the gratitude and the spiritual donation the tips to the free readings on the hourglass see you guys in another video chat to you guys later ciao